SGC here and we're back for first impression. Kim's Convenience Season 1, Episode 1. Okay, so I definitely am biased when I watch this thing. I watch a lot of the interviews telling the story about why this story exists. It's based on a play type of thing. And and it irked me a lot. I mean, I, I first off, before I even get to the review, is just that... I hate how their parents are called their mom and dad. I mean, literally, can you introduce your character in your interview as in, my name is Blah, but they call me Amma or Appa. But like that, like, like, do not introduce your character. My name is dad. My name is mom. That was irksome. Another thing is that no matter what, like, I, I just don't understand is, like, when you use English as a second language, when you get emotional or frustrated or heated or just emotions, you go back to your mother tongue, especially when someone that is also English as a second language. I mean, I sure can believe that a angry dad talking to his daughter English first language would probably just yell at her in English. But when you're frustrated and trying to vent to your wife, you're probably going to speak her in or whatever language. And also another thing is that the accents, I mean, the accents are fine. I'm totally fine with the accents, but it's just the wording that they're using. It's the articulation of just how... Just the words. It just doesn't seem like they're 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 immigrants. It sounds super racist, but I just feel like it's just the words that they use. It's just very very well rounded words. I mean, maybe they are super well read and they can, but I feel like they would try to really enunciate and and, and quote unquote fix their accents to sound like more American or Westernized. I mean, I just watched Silence. They did the race language thing. I mean, Silence, everyone sort of knew English because they were taught by the Jesuit priests, but there were people that are just really struggling with English and they just have these like common single words that just like speak Japanese, speak Japanese, and then one English word that defines it. And a graduate girlfriend will be like, oh, I understand what you're talking about. It's more like that. So yeah, so there's the language thing and the race thing and just the cultural upbringing thing. But beyond that, of all that said, it is playing on the race thing. Just my culture is best and I'm oblivious to your culture. And I feel like that is a thing. But it's just, it's just not really, it's, it's not that powerful. I mean, really, like, the situations that the first episode went through were just like, okay, if you did that in a real situation, you would probably get fired or just, it wouldn't be good. Like, it, it really would not be good because it's just, it's not, it's just not good. And, and definitely, I, I sort of lose that in a sense where, like, if your mom barged in into your boss's office and closed the door on your boss... And give me some time, like your boss. I don't know. Is is your is your boss gonna be that oblivious and not say anything? Who knows? I don't. I don't know. But anyway, with all that said, I'm not sure if I want to say I'm glad that this show exists. I mean, definitely, I appreciate the whole Korean sort of knowledge. Like when the kid asks the girl out, and the dad's like, "Hey, what is what in like the Korean thing?" And then he tells her, and it's just like, "Oh, you know, Korean knowledge type of thing." And I appreciate that. Though I wonder how it's gonna pan out for the rest of the season. I will probably stick around with that one more so than Fresh Off The Boat. I just couldn't really stand Fresh Off The Boat. Yeah, so that's it for this first impression of Kim's Convenience. I am biased, like I keep saying, but you know, I try to like sort of appreciate what they did in this thing. But anyway, that is it for this first impression of Kim's Convenience, Season 1, Episode 1. Out!